number 99 Hall of Famer, first ballot Hall of Famer, Warren Sapp here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, 99? I'm doing good, Rich, all things considered. What in the world happened? <laughs> what happened I was down with my man Two Conks, uh, Charter, doing lobster. It's mini season. It was the first day of mini season when you can go down and you know get all the lobster. You wear six per person on the boat. So you make sure you go down and get you a nice little load, come back up and have a lovely dinner. Okay. You know? Okay. Well, you ain't got to pay thirty nine ninety nine for the lobster tail. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you, you actually went down and got your own. Okay. So we go down to the bottom and, you know, we're going down 10, mm-hmm. to, 10 to 15 feet deep. So I get down there and we put the anchor down and. So you're waiting. Hold on a second. You're diving? You're getting. Yeah, the lobster is not up top, Rich. <laughs> So you're, you so you're putting the holes. You gotta find the holes in the bottom of the surface where you sit up on top of the boat and you look. Well, there's a bunch of marks all over the place where, you know, people have marked them over the years, and mm-hmm. the lobsters crawl every night and they crawl in different holes and they, they, they gather up. You know, like ten or twelve in this hole, fifteen there, twenty there. Sometimes you can find fifty on the pallet if you find a good pallet. So, you know, there's a bunch of marks. So we sitting up top, we throw the anchor. Plus, the little fella jump in and he go look. Oh, it's about four down there. So everybody jump off the boat. You know, let's go. Because <laughs> we had a bunch of dudes on the back that have never died for lobsters before, and this was my third time. Because I went last year mini season twice, and this is my third time doing. It. So, you know, I'm in. Absolutely, I'm in. I'm a Florida boy. I love the water. No, I know. I, I know that. So what, what's the question, Molly? Yeah, yeah, so are you free diving here or are you scuba yeah, diving? we're free I'm... diving. Ain't no tank on my bag. You're going down 10, 15 Hold your feet. breath and go down. Hold, hold your breath. Grab the holes. Look in there. See the lobster. Tickle them with the your little tickle stick and then grab them with the, the basket and, and wrap them up and grab it. So how long can you hold your breath? I can go about 45 seconds. It's pretty good. Damn. It's very good, actually. Well, I mean, it's the Hall of Fame athlete. Yeah, when you're talking about going down with the pressure, you know, uh, it ain't easy. So oh. what we do is we, I teach, I teach you a secret. We, we put the anchor in one of the holes at the bottom. And you wrap it on there, so now you put it on the front of the boat. So now you're more, no more than 25 feet away from the boat at all times. Okay, so now, so, so at what point did... Uh, I'm telling you, now I go down, yeah. and I grab the, the anchor line, and I pull myself down, because, you know, that's where you get my 280-pound butt down at the bottom <laughs> without, <laughs> without expending too much energy, so I can actually hold my breath for about 45 seconds once I get to the bottom. So now I get down, and I grab it, and I look, and I'm looking, and I, and I reach in there, and I, and I feel something soft, and I, I pull my hand out, and I'm like, Mm-mm, I don't like that way that feel. So then I looked over the top, from the bottom hole to the top hole, and I see him. And I could see the dorsal fin and the, and the tail, and I said, oh, that's a shark in there. And I look out the side, so then I stick my hand back down the thing, and now he's squared up, and now he's where he's out the backside, where I can snatch him out. So you know me. <laughs> what do you mean, snatch him out? <laughs> I, de- I decide I'm going to snatch him out. So <laughs> I snatch him out. Hold on a second. How big is this shark? About four feet. He ain't that. He ain't a monster. You know, he ain't, he ain't a monster, but it's. But it's, it, it's it, it four feet. Nothing. That's as big as my is my 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 tallest son. And he's, yeah, he's only that, that, seven. He's a little fella, you know. He, he, he comes from a little stock, you know. <laughs> okay, hold on a second now. All right now. So what do you mean snap? So you're thinking you're gonna go grab the shark? Is that I what you're did. saying? I snatched him out with my right hand, and then with my left, I grabbed him by the tail, and then he went to take it off, and then I had him, and he was going straight like away from me, and he's in a straight line. So I'm I'm enjoying this moment. I'm I, I actually fell into a moment like I was up on the boat with you know the sharks that we grab up on the boat, and we grab them and take pictures, you know, <laughs> point him at the <laughs> point him at the camera. I'll send you pictures of JC doing this. Okay. Me and JC does this, do this all the time. Your buddy, so, okay. I mean, I'm sitting there doing so. I'm doing it under the water, and. I'm looking up to see if JC is right over my shoulder, and of course he's right over the top of my shoulder. <laughs> Warren, one, one more question: Are you doing this at night? Because no, lobster no, no, typically no, no, eat no, no, at no, night. No, 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 This is and come out day morning about noon, okay. eleven thirty. So then, so then, what it's happens? The first of the morning, so we got out a little late. Yeah, about noon, about so, eleven, eleven thirty, noon. So the shark bites you. What happened? How that turn? I mean, when I look up at JC and then I turn back, and you know, I'm almost by the air at this point. Man, this sucker turned back and <laughs> my shirt. He grabs my shirt and my wrist. I mean, right underneath where if you slice them, that's that's the bad part, right? So yeah, he's right at that point. <laughs> so he locks on to the top of my shirt and I snatch down. And luckily, my shirt had the top of his teeth. 
because that part came loose and he swung his bottom jaw to bite me and it just knocked a nice little plug out. <laughs> How deep is the cut? It looks pretty deep. Oh, yeah, I got, he got me to the gristle. It's past the white meat. I mean, I, I should have went to the doctor, but I said, I don't, I don't want nobody. Yeah, I, I'll be fine. I'll play doctor on myself for a week. It'll be cool. Okay, so you're... No stitches? No stitches? Like wait, hold on. Every now and then, no, you know? the way that that cut that I'm seeing on Instagram require <laughs> you don't have you did not get that stitched up? No, I didn't go to the doctor. Man. I'll be Warren. Honest. Listen. Warren, listen. get all yourself to a doctor right now. All upper extremities can be handled. A- <laughs> <laughs> now what is that's what you always say, right? You upper extremities do not do not call the doctor, do not go crazy unless you got a broken bone. Guys, all I got upper gotta- extremities get up, get off the field. I wrapped it up, put the black tape on it, and went back in. Rich, I had to go get the lobster. <laughs> By the way, this is uh, th- guys. You're here in Warren. Wow. Warren, how many times have we? I, I I can't even. I lost track of how many football games I have watched. With you, okay. Oh, too many. I mean, and when a big man, games, when a big man <laughs> needs help off the field with an upper body <laughs> extremity injury, oh. this oh. man goes crazy. Oh. Upper. Oh. It's like it's like it's like growing nails on a football field and getting a hangnail. You know, hangnails really hurt. You know, a busted nail really hurts. I mean, trust me, I got a snapper bite the other day on the thumb, Rich. It almost broke me to my knees. Holy smokes! This little mangrove snapper bit me. Oh my God! It's like a vampire bite. Oh, I've never been bitten by a vampire, but if you see these two fangs in the front of this, oh my God! He bit me. Warren, Ooh. this sounds like you're getting more injured doing stuff in the sea than you did on in the I- NFL. Oh, no, trust me. When I used to get in that shower after Sunday night and put that soap on me, every cut, Nick, oh, my God, trust me. Yeah, I got a lot more more pleasurable Monday mornings waking up now, but it was a, it was a beautiful time. Wow. Don't die. You know me. I take, I, there's nothing like a Sunday afternoon, but ain't nothing like a Sunday fishing either. Well, I'm glad you're good. Um, while I have you on the phone, I, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about two guys going in the hall. Two guys Uh-oh. are going to get busts that are going to be in the same room as you. Uh-oh. Uh, Dungey. Going yeah. in, what what does yeah. what does that mean to you that he's going to be in the same room as you forevermore, Warren? I think it's a correlation of one of the most outstanding men that the NFL have ever seen being taken to a place where we like to call heaven. <laughs> I don't see any more fitting place for such an angel to be on the earth and teach what he taught and still doing the things that he's doing to be let into our club. What did he do for you? Oh, he freed me. He, he he put Joe Green's resume in front of me and said, go chase this. And that's 10 straight Pro Bowls, four world championships, and two defensive players of the year. That's what he went in front of me and said, those are the chips you need to get to be a legend in this game. Those are the kind of chips you need. You need to carve out a part of a decade. I looked at him and I said, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, cause, and, and you knew, obviously, because you, you know the history of the game. You knew that he played with oh, me and Joe. Oh, knew that. I mean, you, you talk about, I mean, he sat me and Brooks down. He said, listen, I play with these two gentlemen that I'm about to lay in front of you two, and that's who you have to be for this football team. Yeah, and you know Donnie Schell is putting him in. He's, uh, he's, oh. in, he's introducing him. So, you know, he went, he went old school right there. And then, and then Favre, you got your favorite. What's your favorite Favre story, chasing him down? Oh, the yeah. Sunday afternoon where we were going at it in my, what was it, my second playoff game ever. The divisional game in, in Lambeau Field, where <laughs> he's walking over to Mike Holmgren after he threw a third and 18 bullet to uh, who was that? Antonio Freeman. It went through his arms, through his legs, and he caught it in the back, Rich, and the backside of him, like between his butt and his calf. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so I'm poop at this point. I turn to go to the sideline. He looks at me and says, "Where are you going?" And I look up at the scoreboard, and it's changing from the third to fourth quarter. I said, okay, yeah, you're right. I got enough time. So I turn and look at Talbot. I said, go back. So I turn and go back to go talk to him. He's walking over the home run. I'm like, hey, hey. <laughs> he turns to get away from Mike. Mike Hunger grabs him, like, to stop him from come talking to me. And he, and he snatched him loose from Mike. Like, hold on, Mike, I'll be right back. <laughs> he comes over to me and said, what? I said, hey, I'm not going nowhere. If you ain't going nowhere, he said, well, come on with it then. I said, well, we got 15 more minutes. I'll meet you at the other end, all right? He said, yeah. And we turned and walked off. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That, man. Was the, that was the best one right there. That's it. He's the man. You yeah. Know? He's the he's the man, and 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 you know, and and I know the two of you just had uh, a great respect for each other when you 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 would either meet in the pocket or anywhere or, or anywhere. Anywhere, yeah. just just two country boys that really love the game and 
really had a fondness for each other because we we were gonna we were gonna pull the best out of each other and make them make them make, and go to the last whistle. <laughs> that was the best part. Well, <laughs> last one last one for you, Warren. When <clears throat> you talked about um, going down to get that lobster, I, I noticed you you said two eighty. That 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 was not a three in front of the number for how much you weigh. How much? No, you, sir. How no, much sir. have you lost? How much have you lost? You know what? I, I, I'm down around. 25, 30 pounds, depending on the morning okay. and what I had the night before that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, big guy burps five pounds, Rich. I've told you this many, many times. You know what I'm saying? You just have to you know, figure out what you ate last oh, night. And did you use the restroom before you stepped on the scale? Are you naked? <laughs> Why are you on the scale? <laughs> Stay away from the sharks. Stay away from the sharks, Warren, okay? Listen, man, Rich, they're down there. It's their, in, it's their habitat, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to definitely try not to grab another one. I promise you that. Please, please, take care of yourself, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Love chatting with you. You take care. All, all right. right. Tell mom and them, kiss mom and them babies for me. All right. You will. You all bet. Right. You got it. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.